I recently did a video about the Zotac Z-Box Mini PC, which I bought for use in the office in addition to home. It's one thing to have a portable miniature desktop computer, but it requires portable peripherals too. The mouse is easy enough, compact ones of those have been around for years for laptop users, but portable keyboards are a little tougher. They're either too big and heavy, or thin, mushy things designed for tablets. Enter the pluggable folding Bluetooth keyboard. It's primarily designed for tablets and large smartphones, but claims to offer a keyboard experience closer to a laptop. Let's take a look. Designed to be carried, it comes in a nice folding case with a magnetic clasp. This case does double duty. In addition to protecting the keyboard in transit, it also folds in another way to form a stand for your smartphone or mini tablet. Neat. As a package, they're a light combo, coming in at around 11 ounces and taking up around 6 inches by 4 inches of space in your bag or coat pocket, with about an inch of thickness. Unfolding the keyboard is simplicity itself. There are no fiddly clips to break. It's held closed by magnets and opens easily. Bear in mind that it also closes easily, as it doesn't truly lock open, so you can't really use it on your lap. Pairing is easy. Just hold on the blue function key and press C to make it discoverable. Find it on your smartphone or PC and connect. The typing experience is pretty good, as unlike some competing folding keyboards, the key layout has been preserved by zigzagging the folding mechanism between the keys, instead of pushing them over to one side of the fold or the other. This particular model is slightly smaller than a real laptop keyboard, with the key tops being around 90% of full size. It's a little tricky to touch type with as it can feel a little cramped, so it's not suitable for heavy typing, but for infrequent use it's a sensible trade-off to get the size down. The original manufacturer in Asia, which I believe is Haztec, now produce the same keyboard but in a full-size configuration, and this is also offered by Pluggable for an additional $10. The unit charges via an included micro-USB cable, and to be honest I'm not sure how long the battery lasts, there are no indicator lights or info on the PC itself, but after being used all day, every day for a week, it's still going strong. So what are the downsides? The biggest problem is the way the unit sits on its two hinges when open, which leaves either end unsupported, so whenever you hold down the shift key, the keyboard seesaws up. Now, this is easily fixed by putting some thick adhesive-backed rubber strips here and here, but the manufacturer should have solved this before releasing it to the market. Finally, we come to the price. I picked this keyboard up for just $40 from Amazon, uh, there's a link in the video description below, which is excellent value. Only the seesawing effect stops me from giving it my recommended rating, despite it being an easy issue to fix. If you found this review helpful, let me know by hitting the like button and dropping me a comment. And check out some of my other reviews and how-tos, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any future videos.